So we've got a brand new feature coming out for the Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet called Add-on X, and I'm going to go through that in this video and unpack all the information that you guys need to know. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. Alright guys, another week, another firmware release from At Games for the Legends Ultimate, but before we talk about that, I do want to mention that At Games is currently hosting a Summer League event that allows you to potentially win either a Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet or one of their new Legends Gamer Units. The rules are actually really simple. In order to participate, starting on June 5th, 2020, all the way until August 9th, 2020, all you're going to need to do is pay attention to their weekly leaderboard event schedule. As usual, they're going to be giving out BYOG hours to players who are going to contribute in those weekly events, but additionally, each week, they're going to select five random participants per game to make the grand pool prize. The five random selected participants are going to be allowed one entry per game, but they can also get the opportunity to have additional entries in the contest by playing additional games each week. Now each person has a maximum of five total placements into the grand prize pool. Every Monday the official At Games Facebook is going to announce any of the week's winners for the BYOG hours, but they will also announce the five grand prize qualifiers per game. And then after all 10 weeks have concluded and that Monday's winners have been announced, the two grand prize winners, one for the Legends Gamer and one for the Legends Ultimate, will be randomly selected from the grand prize pool. So this is actually really, really cool. You essentially have the opportunity to win one of their devices by playing some of the leaderboard games. And to be completely honest, I personally think the leaderboard games are a huge seller for this cabinet anyways. So definitely pay attention to the official at game social accounts so you guys can participate in this and maybe one of you guys will win some of that hardware. So moving on over to this week's firmware release, not a whole lot has changed in terms of the actual firmware. We have four new leaderboard games. We've got Act Fancer, Cybernetic Hyper Weapon, Cluster Buster, Hachu, and Warlords. Now additionally, the other feature that they've included here is that they've reduced the spinner sensitivity when you're flipping through the pages, and I personally find that this is really nice because I found that previously it was almost unusable. It would just scroll so quickly, it didn't make sense to actually use the spinner in order to switch through your pages. Now we're actually going to move on to my PC and we're going to talk about this new add-on X feature that is being released for the Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet. All right, guys, so here we are on my PC and we are going to talk about this add on X tool. And I do want to make note that this tool is still going to be in relatively early beta. So keep that in mind. It is not a hundred percent perfect and there are going to be some bugs and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But what this feature does is it essentially accelerates the ability for the cabinet to read and write off of the USB drive. Additionally, it prioritizes system stability and security. And by using this tool, we end up in a situation where there's practically no limits or impact on the internal storage. Because we aren't relying on the internal RAM or storage for our UCE files, whether that be for the images or the bezel art, we can actually get things like instant loading happening when you pop your USB drive right into the cabinet. You can also load as many UCE files as you want onto the USB drive with no limits. And then you've also got the additional security. Now, in order to set it up, it's actually really simple. We are going to get access to an add on X tool. As you can see, I've got it right here on the desktop. And once I double click on it, it's going to go ahead and open up. As you can see, I'm currently using a beta version, but it's still going to be the exact same process. What we need to do is make sure that our USB drive with all of our UCEs and game files is plugged into our PC. As you can see, I've got mine on the right hand side over here. We're going to go ahead and choose our file. So that's just going to be grabbing our USB. USB. Once we've grabbed that, we're going to hit OK. And then all we need to do is hit this build button. And what's going to happen is it's going to start building a database on our USB drive. And as you can see, we've got a folder here called add on X. It's going to then compile everything that it needs. So that way you're essentially going to be running everything directly off of your USB drive. Now I do want to mention this can process about a hundred games every two or so minutes. So depending on the number of games you have, it is going to take a little while. Now I do want to mention that this add on X tool 
is going to be online based. It needs to be connected into an ArcadeNet account. Additionally, you have to use this while you are connected to the ArcadeNet account. Now there is an offline mode that allows you to run the AddonX application for up to five different sessions offline prior to it requiring some sort of a security validation. And that security validation is quite simple. All you need to do is log back into your ArcadeNet account and it'll reset your offline mode security counter. Now I do want to caution that this is a new feature and there's certainly gonna be some bugs present. And I should also mention in this firmware release, we did have a security update. And as a result of that, a lot of standalone ports that I've done in previous videos, as well as the standalone port that I was going to do for this video, which I had to remove, uh, are not functioning properly. Additionally, any UCE file that was created by running off of the internal emulator cores are also not working. Again, these are related to the firmware update and not necessarily related to add-on X. They are two separate issues, but there are a lot of people working on solutions or workarounds, and hopefully we see some stuff in the coming weeks. And I think it is fair to say that any sort of community driven cores, ports, things like that, isn't really at games responsibility to continue to make sure they work on their firmware. If they do release a firmware update and they continue to work, that's awesome, but it isn't their priority to make sure that any community developers continue to have their projects working on the Legends Ultimate. That being said, hopefully we find a solution or some sort of workaround and uh, we can get everything back up and running the way it should be. And I also want to mention in P-Dub's video, he did mention that he was having some trouble with things like ScumVM and SNES. And ScumVM for sure is not going to work. That being said, SNES should work. The only SNES games that won't work are going to be the ones that are trying to launch off of the internal emulator core. And that's not just SNES. That's going to be MAME. That's going to be Sega Genesis. Anything that's essentially trying to launch off of an internal emulator core will not function. But any UCE that was created with a physical core using the add-on tool should absolutely work and I will show Super Nintendo working later on in the video. Okay, so now that the tool has completed its scan and it has successfully built everything that it needs for the add-on X feature, the way that you're going to know that it is done is you're going to have an add-on X folder on the root of your USB drive. When you double click on that, we are going to have an add-on X lock file and we are also going to have what looks like a payloads folder and inside that payloads folder we're going to have all of our artwork for our different games and it's going to be formatted in a way that the cabinet's going to fully understand which game belongs to which artwork so that's pretty much it in terms of getting this set up. I don't currently have a link to provide to you guys to download the add-on X tool because it hasn't been provided to me. But once it is available to the public, I will go ahead and update my video description so that way you guys can access it in the description down below. Next, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the arcade cabinet and I'm just gonna show you guys just how quickly this thing loads. All right, so here we are on the arcade cabinet. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over to the BYOG section, and I'm gonna do this in real time. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB into one of the USB ports right now. And there you go. As you can see, the load time just to launch the add-on X feature is substantially faster than it was before. I think before I was waiting almost 45 seconds to a minute when I'd pop a USB drive in just to get it to pop up so we can access the add-on tool. Now, if we go ahead and enter in on the add-on tool, everything's gonna look more or less the exact same. You're gonna have all of your console folders along the left-hand side. You can filter through, you can select your game, and you can absolutely launch it. Now that's pretty much all I've got for you guys in this video. I do want to mention again, if you guys are interested in winning a Legends Ultimate or a Legends Gamer unit, please pay attention to the At Games social accounts so you guys can take part in their summer contest. But again, like I said, that's all I've got for you guys. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did not like it. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys run into any problems. I will do my best to help you guys out. But that's all I've got. Thank you so very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon.